and welcome again. In today's video, we will talk about weighted activities in terms of percentages and their contribution to overall percentage completed of a project. I have prepared this basic schedule for an agile project where the sprints number one and number two are elaborated in detail. However, the sprint number three is still unclear. The only high level details that we have estimated for sprint number three is that it will last for 10 days. And in terms of percentage, it will contribute only 15% in the overall project. As you can see in here, there are five steps in sprint number one and four steps in sprint number two. The step number one in sprint number one is weighted as 30% of the overall percentage of the sprint. Step number two is 20%. Step number three is 20 percent and step number four and five are each 15 percent. Sprint number two is decomposed into four steps. Each step has a specific amount of contribution to the overall percentage of the sprint. On the right here, we have the Gantt chart prepared in Microsoft Excel. I won't go into detail in this Gantt chart because there are a number of videos in the Microsoft Excel playlist of this YouTube channel available through which you could learn how to prepare such Gantt charts in Microsoft Excel. In today's video, we will focus on the weightage of the sprints, the weightage of their steps, and besides that, its contribution to the total percentage completed of the project. For example, if I update the percentage completed of any of the steps in the project, it will result in changes in the percentage completed of the sprints and the overall percentage completed of the project. For example, let's make this 100% and let's increase this to 70%. As you can see, the sprint percentage and the project percentage completed both will be automatically updated. The weightage for each step should be inserted manually based on your and your team's judgment. In order to calculate the total percentage completed of the sprint, we have used the sum product formula. For the percentage completed of this sprint, we have taken this range times this range. What the sum product does is it will multiply the first cell into the first cell and then add it to the second cell times the second cell until the end. Same is done in here. In order to calculate the percentage completed of the project itself, we have the weightages for each sprint. Sprint number one will weigh 45%, sprint number two will weigh 40%, and the last sprint will weigh 15%. So for this one, we have written down this cell times this cell plus this cell times this cell and this cell times this cell. So the total percentage completed of the project is given in here. And for the weightage, the weightages of all the sprints are added to obtain one, which is 100%. I hope you like the content of the video. For more content like this, consider subscribing to our YouTube channel. Besides that, visit our Instagram and LinkedIn pages. Thank you very much for watching.